So I've been working on a pretty fun hypothetical battle video between Zoids versus Gundam, but that's proven to be a much larger undertaking than I first thought, because trying to power scale between two different series is really difficult, especially when you take into consideration how vast and powerful the Gundam universe can be. So in the meantime, while I work on that, I want to give you a taste of this video format and present to you something just as fun that I can work on without hours upon hours of research, because I've watched these series hundreds of times already. Van Flyheight from Zoid's Chaotic Century versus Bitcloud from Zoid's New Century. Hey I'm Viseek and welcome to my YouTube channel where I discuss anime, manga and video games that I enjoy and are genuinely passionate about. And Zoids is a franchise that I am definitely passionate about. Now to start with for this video we are going to have to set some ground rules, as this fight could easily tip on either side of the scales if we don't. Firstly we're going off anime feats only, however the Zoids manga will be used in one instance to distinguish the fact that the Liger Zero is in fact the evolved successor to the Blade Liger and is canonically the more capable and powerful new generation Liger. Secondly, we're going to have multiple scenarios with different variations of each character. Those being Van at the start of Chaotic Century with the Shield Liger, Van with the Blade Liger, and Guardian Force Van with the Blade Liger. And for Big Cloud, we're going to have no CAS system, so no Schneider, Jaeger, or Panzer, and obviously with CAS system. Make sense? All right. Let's get started. First off, we've got Van and the Shield Liger versus Bit and the Liger Zero with no CAS. I'd say this battle is definitely skewed very much towards Bit Cloud's side. As we've already defined the Liger Zero as the successor to the Blade Liger, the Shield Liger is two generations behind at this point. Plus, at the start of Chaotic Century, Van can barely pilot the Shield Liger on his own without Zeke's help. His greatest feat would probably be taking down Raven and his Zaberfang, which was in part due to Rob Herman's help. While that is pretty huge considering it is Raven and Shadow we're talking about here, the fact that the Saberfang was damaged from the fight where Herman was helping, tied with how frustrated and reckless Raven was acting, definitely puts the fight down a few pegs for me. Then on Bit's side of things in the very first episode, we see him take out three Saber Tigers at once. While yes, none of them were piloted by Raven and Shadow, having three of them does make it a little bit more comparable in terms of a feat. And to top it off, this battle is presumably the first time Bit had ever piloted a Zoid before. But taking all of that into consideration, even with Zeke helping Van out, I would strongly say that Bitcloud takes the cake of this battle. Next is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting. We've got Van and the Blade Liger versus Bit and the Liger Zero without CAS. The great thing about this is we actually have a fight with each respective Zoid to go off already. Bit and the Liger Zero versus Leon and the Blade Liger. The black box system allows Zero to incrementally improve against the Blade Liger and eventually start to get an edge up on Leon. But honestly, if that fight in New Century were to continue as it was, I would say Leon would probably win that fight. The thing we'd then have to consider is if we deem Leon at this point a better pilot pilot than Van the Blade Liger at that point in Chaotic Century. Now personally, I would say Van is a pilot with a little bit more experience with feats like taking on the legendary three guards, the Genosaurus, and of course the Death Sora. However, a lot of what Van achieved was in part largely due to Zeke. Without his organoid at that part in the story, Van was a good pilot, but definitely not a great one, and more than likely would have lost nearly all of the battles that make him such a well-renowned pilot. So with that in mind, I'm going to say pre-time skip Van without Zeke loses to Bit and the Like Zero without CAS still pretty hard. It's a much closer battle to be sure, but Bit is proven to just be a natural as a pilot, whereas Van hasn't quite coming to his own just yet. Now if you decide to add Zeke into the equation, I'd say at this point in time it would tip the scales a bit over to Van's side once again, because Zeke does give the Liger an exponential boost, which we will discuss later, as well as obviously giving the Blade Liger a second wind. However, to counteract that, we can then up the ante on Bit's side and finally give him access to the CAS system. In that circumstance, I'd say it's pretty easy to distinguish that either the Jaeger or the Schneider would take the cake in that battle. Next up on the battlefield, we would naturally move into Guardian Force Van the Blade Liger without Zeke versus Bit and the Liger Zero with the CAS system. This is the one, the Magnum Opus. 
the most interesting fight that can be had between these two fictional characters in my eyes. Van at this stage is an absolute machine. He's a hardened lieutenant who's trained for years under the guidance of Colonel Kruger. The Blaylike has essentially just become another part of his body at this point, moving it with finesse and taking out countless Zoids that he used to struggle with in the past even without using Zeke. In terms of recognizable feats, we've got Van being able to dodge gun sniper bullets at point blank range, which we can compare to bit similar feat against Naomi. However, the big difference here is that this is more of the Liger's intuition and the black box kicking in, rather than Bit's ability as a pilot at the time. Or you could just put it down to Bit's luck, but we can't factor that into a battle really. Then we've got Van's fight against the Death Stinger, which is very clearly going his way. It could be argued at that point he's getting an amp from the Zoid Eve, but then you could also argue that so is the Death Stinger. Van's also defeated hundreds of Hiltz's men in multiple waves, with the backup of only a couple of Shield Ligers and Command Wolves. Plus, he even put up a decent fight against Reese's upgraded Genosaurus right after that battle while he's still all damaged. And now we can even take into consideration the second fight between the Blade Liger and Liger Shira Schneider towards the end of New Century. And in this fight, while yes, Bit and the Schneider do overcome Leon on the Blade Liger, for most of that fight, the two are pretty evenly matched, with Bit only just edging ahead at the end. Now with Bit only just winning this fight, we then have to take into consideration once again, who is a better part at this point in time. Guardian Force Van or Leon. And I think it's pretty clear to see who wins this fight now. In episode 16, when Bit first faces Leon, he talks about wanting to reach his full potential and how the Blade Liger would be a vessel for him to get there. By the end of the series, perhaps he had reached his full potential, but it's clear he hadn't brought out every inch of power out of the Blade Liger. Because Van, on the other hand, had truly squeezed out every ounce of power and ability that the Blade Liger had available, and well exceeded its capabilities as shown in episode 52, Van's new power, where the Blade Liger just can't even keep up with him anymore. So in terms of raw piloting skills, it is pretty clear to me that Van overcomes Leon tenfold, and by extension would definitely be a lot more skilled and experienced than Bit. Now while I do think there is a very clear advantage on Van and the Blade Liger side of things, I don't think it would just be a cakewalk for him. To give credit where credit's due, Bit and the Liger Zero have some experience fighting a Blade Liger before, and the Zero is an extremely agile Zoid with much greater maneuverability as stated by Leon himself. But at the end of the day, Bit and the Zero just haven't fought someone like Van before. Sure, the Liger's black box would more than likely try to kick in and give Beat the edge, which might allow him to get some surprising hits on Van unexpectedly. And hey, if he's lucky, he could land just one critical hit and that's the end of it. But personally, I'd say the battle would more than likely be over before the black box would ever make a difference to the scenario. However, to play devil's advocate, let's say Bit could stall Van out. Would he inevitably come out on top? I'm still gonna go with no. Bit does have a pretty substantial feat in defeating the Berserk Fury, whilst Van could never beat its predecessor, the Geno Breaker. But I'd argue two points against this. A, the Fury was weakened and probably could have easily beat Bit and the Liger were it not for the Judge Satellite and as well as the fight with the Shadow Fox and Brad. And most importantly, B, it was being held back by Vega, who, while a prodigy, couldn't hack the physical turmoil that the Berserk Fury was putting him through. If the Fury was piloted by someone more capable like Raven, for example, that battle would have ended a lot quicker. Nonetheless, no matter which CAS bit uses, I can't see him touching the Blade Liger here. Maybe the Jaeger could keep up and land a cheeky blow here or there like I mentioned earlier. Or perhaps Bit could use the Schneider and Van just decides to take it head on for shits and giggles. But overall, I'd say 8 out of 10 times, Guardian Force Van absolutely demolishes Bit and the Liger. And the only reason it's 8 out of 10 times is by the 9th and 10th tries, Bit and the Liger will more than likely become accustomed to Van's fighting style and obviously the black box would kick in. So by that point, yes, maybe he could come out with a W. But considering all the trial and error required for that to happen, I wouldn't really consider it relevant for a theory battle video like this. So yes, while I did say this would be the most interesting fight, which I still think it is, I would have to definitively say that Van would win this one. I think what makes it so interesting is that Bit has a chance here against a 
bloody legend. And there is that slim chance where it could go either way. While yes, there is a very high probability of Van winning, I feel like this is the only fight where one version of a character doesn't absolutely demolish the other. And in practice, if we ever were to be graced with some sort of spin-off movie where Van and the Blade Liger happen to teleport off into the future, this is the version of Van that I'd want to see go around and fight bit. And I'm sure they'd have a seriously fun time doing it. I mean, come on, a fully fledged tournament for Zoid battles, that is like Van Flyheit's absolute dream. And imagine if this little spin-off movie with a time travel fiasco happened to slightly change the ending of New Century, where Van leaves a small message for Bit in the Ultrasaurus for after he wins the World Cup. You know, I don't even want a second season of New Century anymore if they could make something like this happen, because I would consider that kind of story the perfect send-off to Zoids and it's, it'd be a movie, so it'd be so much easier to produce than a whole season. Anyway, I'm getting off track. Lastly, we've got the complete opposite side of the scale from the very first battle. Guardian Force Van and the Blade Liger with Zeke versus Bit and the Liger Zero with the CAS system. And Van absolutely stomps Bit, no questions asked. Bit was already going down Struggle Street against Van and the Blade Liger on its own, losing 8 out of 10 times at minimum. And then Zeke just brings out a whole new level to the Blade Liger. You see, realistically, it's not like Van would start the battle with Zeke fused. And then when he inevitably decides to fuse the Liger with Zeke, it gives him a second win, which to be frank, at that point is way too much for Bit to handle. Not even taking into consideration the substantial amps the Blade Liger will get from being fused with Zeke. For example, in episode 29 of Chaotic Century, when Zeke fuses with the Blade Liger, it was able to outrun a Redler, which had a top speed of Mark III, whereas the Blade Liger's actual top speed is only 305 kilometers per hour. So you'd think that Zeke gives maybe a 10 times amp, but realistically, we don't know if Zeke can isolate certain areas, like speed in this instance, to overexert the Liger. So to lowball it, we'll say Zeke gives the Blade Liger an approx three times amp, plus a second wind. In saying that, no matter what Bit does here, he gets absolutely stomped. Even if he battles the Blade Liger a hundred times over, I cannot see the Liger's black box system competing with Zeke. It's just too substantial of a difference. And you may be asking yourself, what about the Blade Liger with the attack boosters? Well, I think you can understand that that's kind of redundant at this point, because Blade Liger with attack boosters wins, Blade Liger and Zeke with attack boosters easily wins. And I think that'll do it for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was a fun little scaling video to make and I look forward to doing more in the future. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. It's really important, of course, to do that. Yeah, bye.